So this example is a little bit different. So I have a solution that had an original concentrate of 12% and it was diluted and the final concentration is 2.4%. And they want us to find the dilution performed. So how is this example different from the last couple of examples? Well, in this example, they tell us the final concentration and the original concentration, but we're looking to find the dilution. Well, it's still true that the original concentration times the dilution will give us the final concentration. So we know, we know this guy, we know the final concentration, we're looking for the dilution. So all we have to do really is plug this, plug this all, all this information in that we had and solve for the dilution, which I'm just going to call D. You could call it whatever you like, but um, D times, right, our original concentration was 12%, and that's going to equal my final concentration, which is 2.4%. So now all I have to do to solve, how do you solve this? Well, you divide on both sides by 12%, will give you D by itself. So D equals 2.4% divide by 12%. And just like with units, these percents, percent on the top, percent on the bottom, they cancel each other out. They, they make a factor of one. Um, percent is one, it, you can replace the percent symbol with one over a hundred because percent means per 100. Um, and so if you have one over 100 on the top, one over 100 on the bottom, they cancel out. So even though they're symbols, just like with our uh, units, when we were doing conversions, right, these guys still cancel out. So I have 2.4 over 12, and you might be, you can put that in your calculator, right? Or if you want to go the old-fashioned way, you can multiply the top and bottom by 10, which will give you 24 over 120, um, which reduces 2 over 10, which is 1 over 5. So again, you could put it in your calculator, but it's going to give you a decimal. And we're looking for a dilution, right, which is written as a fraction. So it's probably a good idea just to work with the fraction like you know how to, how to work with a fraction. Um, so yeah, so we found the dilution. We just plugged in the information we knew and solved for the thing we did not know.